like every night. Hello everyone, it's Millie. So I worked really, really hard on this video and I really hope that you enjoy what this video has to offer. I hope you get some uh, tips from this video. Some of them are easy, but for the majority of them, you'll need spray paint. But if you don't have spray paint, you can use nail varnish or acrylic paints, anything like that. Or you don't even have to paint them at all, if I'm honest. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I filmed it outside in England in the middle of winter, because it's January right now, if you're like, watching this in the future. Mm -hmm. Then it's blue skies outside, but it's freezing. And my hands felt like they were going to drop off. But now I'm back in my room, fluffy blanket, fluffy onesie, fluffy socks. So... I'm feeling rather content. Our first DIY is going to be our own jewellery holder or nail varnish holder, basically whatever you want to put inside your DIY. You will need a thick photo frame, a sharpie pen, a ruler, some scissors and some wrapping paper or a decorative cutout from Vogue magazine or basically any image that will fit inside this photo frame. Inside you should have like a protective plastic and a measurement sheet. Look on the measurements and the sheet and you can just measure them out onto uh, the decorative paper you want to use or you can trace around it and I decided to be lazy and just trace around it. Then just cut out the paper that you have chosen to use and we're going to put it all into the frame. So first of all start with the measurement sheet just for kind of extra support I guess and then put the decorative paper in facing upwards towards you and then so the items have a proper base to sit on put the protective plastic in last. This is what the final product should look like and you can basically put anything you want in there. I put Essie nail polishes on there, jewellery, some elephant candles and as you will see in a minute, I've burnt my finger. Ouch. This next DIY is possibly one of my favourites and all you need for this is two kilner jars or any jar mason jars, some decorative ribbons, LED candles, any small ornaments and some fillers for the jar. You will also need some spray paint, some sellotape and some super glue. For added decoration, just place tape around the areas where you want the spray paint to avoid and basically in the end when you peel the sellotape off, this area will be clear. Then just take your spray paint and also stuff the middle of the jar so that no spray paint gets into the inside of the jar and get spray painting. I know I should have been wearing gloves but don't worry, in the next clip I wear gloves. And here are the gloves. I decided to do two jars because uh, I'm definitely using these DIYs in my room so I spray painted the other jar a baby blue colour. Also for the mini ornaments I decided to use some old nail polish that I've had since I was about five that I found the other day but you can also use mini animal figurines or little toys you can find at Powman that will just fit on top of the lids nicely. So after you've spray painted everything and it is all dry, just go ahead and peel the tape off from the middle of the jars and you can just place the LED candles inside and place the filler and gems around that candle so it looks very natural. I then also added ribbon around the edges and bows and I just think they look so cute and hashtag Tumblr. <laughs> So then all you need to do is put super glue around the rim of the little mini ornaments and just stick them in the centre of the lid or wherever you want to stick them on the lid and place it on top of the jar and it will look like that. The ornaments could have done with being a little bit smaller but overall I am very happy with how they turned out. I absolutely love this next DIY. It's a display stand and basically a cupcake holder but it, you can make it a display stand for your makeup. All you need is two plates of different sizes, any shape really, a mini vase or candlestick, some super glue and again I use spray paint. I do apologise for there being so much spray paint but the spray paint is not necessary, it's just optional. Mm -hmm. 
So I went ahead and used the spray paint on the jar in the end and it turned, I used a pink just to kind of range the colours a little bit. And then take your super glue once it's dried and just apply it to the base of the vase or candlestick. And then turn it upside down and place it into the, in the centre of the larger plate. Once that is dried, apply super glue to the rim of the top of the vase or candlestick and apply the smaller plate on top in the centre. After that, you can use makeup, nail polish, lush bath bombs, whatever you want to accessorise your display stand. I think using your everyday makeup will be extremely useful as well, just to kind of pick and go. I thought this was so creative and inventive. All you're going to need is a cloudy light bulb and a sharpie and you can just go ahead and write song lyrics, draw designs, stick stickers onto it or anything you want and basically when you place the light bulb back into the lamp and turn it on it will cast a shadow onto your wall. People have been creative with this and drawn Peter Pan onto the light bulb and basically at night this is what the effect is. I highly recommend that you do this next DIY and if you do, please don't forget to DM them to me on Instagram. All you're going to need is some fake flowers, a cock bottle or something similar and some sellotape and some spray paint. It's really simple, all you need to do is take the sellotape and wrap it around any part of the bottle that you don't want the spray paint to get to. So I chose to kind of save the neck of the bottle here so that I could add my ribbons and bows to that area. Then you just take your spray paint and spray the whole of the vase. And I put my finger like in the jar so that it was just easier to kind of manoeuvre. Once it's dried you can then just peel the sellotape away from the neck but do be careful when doing this because sometimes more spray paint comes off than you want. And then you can just use some decorative ribbons and bows uh, to accessorise it with. That is the end of the video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, it took me forever, forever to make this video so I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you tried out any of these designs please DM them to me on Instagram and I'll probably post them on my account. So yeah, I love you all, have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive. Bye guys!